what's the word, ladies and gentlemen? This is Andrew, and in today's episode of Is It Worth It, we'll be talking about Thunder. We'll be going over his weapons, stats, abilities, playstyle, and ultimately determining whether or not he is worth your 50,000 credits or your $10 USD. Now, first off, Thunder is an Assault Merc, which means he'll be spending a lot of his time killing people. His HP is a whopping 160, but his movement speed is quite slow, coming in at 375. His main ability is the Concussion Grenade, which can slow and blind enemies, and it has a cooldown of a quick 17 seconds. You can also blind yourself as Thunder with your own Concussion Grenade, so be careful with your line of sight positioning. Uh, teammates can also be affected, but at worst they get afflicted with a partial blind, and there's no movement slowdown penalty. Now for primary weapons, Thunder gets the MK-46, the Timic-47, and the Stark AR. As the MK-46 is indeed his default signature, I'll be going into the stats of this weapon, but I'll leave updated stat sheets in the description for all those who are interested in the nitty gritty numbers of the other two weapons. The MK-46 will hit for 11 damage to the body, and then that translates to 22 damage to the head at a rate of 725 RPM. The magazine size is a huge 85 rounds, and you'll reload that giant magazine at a whopping 4.1 seconds. The overall DPS of this weapon is 133, and personally, I really enjoy using this weapon. It's essentially like a belt-fed Kek-10, that's a little bit less accurate. However, if you stick close to medium range, uh, you'll stay. You'll be able to stay relatively accurate with this gun. Granted, you don't hold down the trigger for all 85 rounds, but then again, I can't really imagine any weapon being able to be accurate after 85 rounds of running fully automatic. However, the iron sights, if you need to be a little bit more accurate, the iron sights, in my opinion, are pretty fantastic. I've been able to rely on them pretty consistently to tighten up my cone of fire during those extended engagements where my hipfire bloom just gets way too big to stay on target. Now, one thing to note is that with the LMG, you will move at 82.5% of your speed, and that is in contrast to the standard 87.5% of the assault rifles like the Stark AR and the Timic. Now speaking of the Stark AR, if you like burst rifle weapons, the Stark AR will offer a more ranged solution if you prefer that. And then you also have the Timic which is somewhat of a middle ground between the Stark and the MK46. So for secondaries, Thunder gets a very, very interesting selection. You have the M9, the Calden, and the SNW revolver. The best of the bunch, I would say, would have to be the M9 pistol. But as the SNW is indeed his signature sidearm, I'll be going to the stats for the revolver. The SNW would hit for 27 damage, a bullet to the body, doubling up to 54 to the head, and it'll shoot at a rate of 300 RPM. It has a 6 round cylinder and will reload that cylinder at a speed of 1.9 seconds. The revolver itself is a decent sidearm, but it requires a bit of aim to perform well with. Uh, the M9 in my opinion is definitely a spammier alternative. Finally, we have the melee weapons, and Thunder has a choice between the Stiletto, the Beckhill, and the Kukri. His default is the Beckhill, and it will hit 40 damage for the Quick Slash, doubling up to 80 on the Heavy Slash. I think the Beckhill's a solid knife. It has a very, very good, consistent hitbox. Now, the ability we all know him by is the Concussion Grenade, which will blind or slow enemies with varying degrees of severity, and it has a 17 second cooldown, so relatively short, not too bad. Um, at worst, if the enemy is facing the concussion grenade and is close enough for the initial inner blast radius, they will have a completely white screen and they'll suffer from slowed movement and turning. Now, the effect lessens from this to a plain white screen, and then from that to a white screen with a mini-map, and then to a bright, visible screen. So there's different layers to this. The different levels of concussion all depend on how close you are to the blast, and if you're in line of sight of the blast, and if you're facing the blast. It's, it's a lot of different factors, it's rather quite complicated. And what's even more interesting is that Thunder's concussion grenades will affect him just as much as they affect his enemies. So when you play as Thunder, you must utilize your corners to avoid getting concussed by your own grenades. 
There have been a lot of complaints from people who don't know how to use the concussion grenades properly, but I found that as long as you focus on throwing the grenade around a corner and then quickly duck behind cover, you'll usually avoid getting stunned. Now the concussion effect will also blind teammates, but they will not suffer from the full blind, the full white screen effect. You know, the screen is still relatively visible and they will also not suffer from the movement penalties. So when playing as Thunder, you have to treat it like Red Eye Smoke and be aware that friendlies will be hindered from a poor concussion grenade placement. When playing as Thunder, you can also cook the concussion grenades without a cooldown penalty for canceling the toss. However, there's currently no countdown animation as you would find on Fragger's nades and his little fingers counting down to three, or rather counting up to three. So it takes quite a bit of practice to get the timing down correctly. Now, the Concussion Grenade also acts as an EMP, which can temporarily disable deployables, making it really, really easy to flush out choke points. Now, for loadouts, Thunder has a healthy number of very, very good loadouts. I want to say the vast majority of them are quite good, but if you want to use the MK46 LMG, I would say the MA42 is probably your best bet. If you're into the Timic, uh, the T72 or the T45 are both great cards. And if you like the amazing damage output potential of the Stark AR, the S92 or the S41 are great options as well. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the selection of loadouts that Thunder has access to. But what does this all mean? Does this mean Thunder is actually worth buying? Uh, well, as fun as Thunder is, and he may be even my new favorite merc, I don't think he's very practical. Um, all the damage comes from his guns, because the concussion grenades don't do any direct damage like Fragger's nades do, or even Nader's nades. And on top of all that, it requires quite a bit of positioning and setting up to get perfectly pulled off. In order to successfully use a concussion grenade, you need to position yourself behind a corner, toss the nade, hope people are close enough or facing the grenade to get blinded, and then run over with your 375 movement speed, gun them down before they can see again. Uh, I, I just feel like that's a lot of steps and a lot of variables that have to go right for Thunder's concussion grenades to work properly. Meanwhile, if you have another assault merc like a Fragger, Nader, you can instantly kill enemies with their abilities. Thunder isn't exactly very efficient at killing things, and with the amount of effort and setup required, you would be better off throwing a frag grenade and just getting the kills outright. If you're a newer player and if you're looking for an assault merc, I would recommend getting frag grenade first, or maybe even Stoker with his Molotovs before getting Thunder. Now, Thunder is fun, don't get me wrong, but he can be extremely difficult to use and very impractical to get kills with. Um, but if you're like me, if you're looking for a different merc, you know, a luxury for fun buy, if you want to call it that, Thunder fits the bill perfectly. I think he shines the most, not in pubs, but rather in coordinated teams where your teammates will actually wait for you to conk the enemy before making the rush. Anyways guys, I hope this video helped you in determining if Thunder is a good purchase. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on Thunder, does he seem like something you would enjoy, and if you already own Thunder, what are your thoughts on him currently? Anyways, that's just about it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and until next time, I'll see you in the next one.